Congress today reauthorized funding for Facebook, the massive online surveillance program run by the CIA. According to Department of Homeland Security reports, Facebook has replaced almost every other CIA information gathering program since it was launched in 2004. After years of secretly monitoring the public, we were astounded so many people would willingly publicize where they live, their religious and political views, an alphabetized list of all their friends, personal email addresses, phone numbers, hundreds of photos of themselves, uh, and even status updates about what they were doing moment to moment. It is truly a dream come true for the CIA. Much of the credit belongs to CIA agent Mark Zuckerberg, who runs the day-to-day -day Facebook operation for the agency. The decorated agent, codenamed the Overlord, was recently awarded the prestigious Medal of Intelligence Commendation for his work with the Facebook program, which he has called, quote, the single most powerful tool for population control ever created. Surprise! Facebook's making some of your private information now public. Facebook recently announced that they will no longer allow users to keep their profile photo or their cover art private. Now anyone who searches for it can find it. Facebook also has decided because you've agreed to be a user and agreed to their ever-changing rules without notification that they will now allow your timeline to be discoverable by anyone according to your name, where in the past we were able to hide this information or select settings so that only your friends or friends of friends could find you. Now, if you exist on Facebook, anyone can find you based on searching for your name. Check your inbox. Apparently, Facebook sent off emails in the spring of 2014 letting us know that they were discontinuing their privacy policy. Based on these new changes, there is no way to guarantee any of your information is private. In fact, Facebook openly says that they will share private information with third-party applications. In other invasive technology news, Facebook has a terrifying new feature. This one, and this is real, uses the microphone in your smartphone to listen in on what music, movies, or, or TV shows you're watching or hearing, and then it posts that information directly to your Facebook page. It turns everything you're doing into a status update. <laughs> you have to hand it to Facebook. A each time I think they become as creepy as possible, <laughs> Somehow they find a way to be even creepier than that. They say the feature makes it, uh, is designed to make it easier for users to share. Well, thank you. I, I believe I speak for a lot of people and I say, we're good on sharing. We're, we're sh we've had enough. Do we really want Facebook listening in on, and reporting on everything we do? Because if this goes well, you know where they're headed next. I still love you, Trevor, so much. No, what is happening? I can't stop listening to Adele and crying about you. Take me back, please. No, stop. I'm not doing this. I want to cut Stephanie's brakes so she drives off a cliff and dies. In no, I mean, a little bit I do, but I, I, I don't even know that. I, Emily, I, the police are here. Ma'am, put the laptop down and your hands behind your back. Oh my god, Come okay, I, Come on. okay. Facebook. We're inside your head. It's... We'll look back on that and we won't be laughing. And in case you weren't aware, you've already agreed to partner with Facebook with your own intellectual property. That's right, straight from their own 2014 Terms of Use. For content that's covered by intellectual property rights like photos, videos, IP content, you specifically give us the following permission subject to your privacy and application settings. You grant us non-exclusive, transferable, sub-licensable, royalty-free, worldwide license to use any IP content that you post on or in connection with your Facebook IP license. This IP license ends when you delete your IP content or your account unless your content has been shared with others and they have not deleted it. In other words, they own it as soon as it goes up and somebody sees it. When you delete your IP content, it's deleted as a manner similar to emptying your recycle bin on a computer. However, you must understand that you've removed content that may persist in backup copies for a reasonable period of time. So all week for CNN's What Women Want campaign, we've been talking and bringing you conversations and ideas from women about they want what they want out of life. But one company apparently knows more about what women want than anybody else, Facebook. And that's not just because the author of Lean In, Sheryl Sandberg, works there. See, here's what happened. In 2009, the company introduced the Like button. And for the last few years, 
a lot of people have clicked what they like on brands, musicians, television shows, whatever it is. Click like the things you want in your life. And for most Facebook users, liking something online is a casual, unimportant thing, right? Yeah, but it's not, because this is like 1984. You think it takes half a second and then you move on, but not so. The people at the University of Cambridge have looked into this. A research team at the school analyzed the likes of more than 58,000 American Facebook users to see what they would find out about you. Well, you know what? They found out everything. They say they can determine almost everything about you, including your gender, your ethnicity, your sexual orientation, just for starters. And yes, the more they know about you, the more they can target ads at you, selling your soul. So now using new algorithms developed by Cambridge and Microsoft, using data from nearly 60,000 profiles, your Facebook likes can tell them all the things about you. Some of those things might be obvious. If I like Top Chef, I probably like cooking. If I like the No Hate campaign, I'm less likely to be straight. But some of the things that they're accurately predicting don't have anything to do with what I'm liking, at least not on the surface. For instance, they found that people who like Hello Kitty tend to be more open and less emotionally stable. They're able to predict with anywhere between 70 and 95% percent accuracy if I'm a black American or a white American, my sexual orientation, what my political views are, if I'm a Christian or a Muslim, even substance abuse issues, IQ, personality type, or whether or not my parents are divorced. The predictions are being formed based on large overarching patterns like the fact that people whose parents are separated like more statuses where people are talking about their relationships. I mean, it's kind of weird, guys, and yet I'm not really that surprised. Remember, when you've published content or information using the public setting, it means that you are allowing everyone, including people off of Facebook, to access and use that information. We contacted Facebook for a statement and got this unofficial reply. We think it's really pretty simple, but let me explain it to you this way. I own you, and your data, and your content, and your business, and all your dirty little secrets. So, deal with it, bitch. Whoa, that is harsh. But it's not just Facebook. Google certainly has just as much, if not more, information than Facebook. In fact, it is alleged that Google's information is more accurate and precise than the information the CIA has. Google knows every search you've ever queried, every site you've ever visited, every video you've ever watched. It knows your passwords, your date of birth, your previous names, driving habits, where you lived, where you've worked, spending habits, likes, and dislikes. Google knows how often your hater stalks your page. But it's not just Google. It's the internet. There's no hiding. Even if you diligently protect your privacy settings and limit your sharing. If you own a smartphone, the internet knows more about you than your own mother. So what should we do? Ask to be removed from the cloud? Delete all of our social media accounts? Unplug the TV? Throw away our phones? Well, it's too late. All the information has already been collected. So if you can't beat them, join them. Rather than spending hours and hours trying to find ideal customers who fit your target profile, why not spend five minutes and five dollars and let Facebook advertising do the work? In the form of targeting your customers, Facebook can be a kind of match.com for your business and your future lifer.